Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to do this video today. I'm a little late in posting this. I wanted to film this a lot earlier in the year. I wanted to film this like around the beginning of January, but it's been kind of busy for me just getting ready for the baby. So I wanted to take this time now to go over um, my 2022 uh, vision board and goals uh, with you guys just because I this was my first year that I did this and normally I don't really write down my goals for the new year this was the first time I ever attempted doing that and I really really enjoyed um, having this board to kind of refer to to look at my goals for the year to see what I could accomplish I got the idea from Lady Mom T uh, she would always post her uh, goals for the new year and she would kind of check in throughout the year and I really, really liked those videos that she would post. So I wanted to try it for myself. So I'm going to go over um, everything that I accomplished or didn't accomplish last year and um, we'll just kind of mark it off the ones that I did because uh, I did accomplish some things, which I'm proud of. So this is what my board looked like for last year. Um, so I'm going to start up here at the top um, it says get more active that's something I really wanted to work on last year and I will say before I got too far into my pregnancy I was getting I wouldn't say pretty active but more active than usual so I'll put a check mark there just because I do feel like I somewhat accomplished that but I need to continue with it um, the next one right here says participate in more DIY collabs. I didn't really do that one too much. I'll just put an X since I didn't really get to accomplish that one. But maybe, maybe in the future, I don't know about this coming up here because I'm going to have my hands full with our newborn. But, uh, but we'll see. You never know. <laughs> Right here, uh, this next one is take vitamins daily. I was trying to get on a good regimen with vitamins, uh, getting in the habit of taking those on a daily basis, which I did. So I'm going to put a check mark there. Um, down here, this was kind of like my biggest goal of the year, which we did not accomplish. <laughs> it was uh, renovate our bathroom. Um, we still haven't done that yet, but we did get a new furnace put in. Um, the furnace went out like around March or April and we did get that replaced. So at least we did work, do some work on the house, but unfortunately we did not get to the bathroom just yet. Uh, so let's see here. Then I'll go over here where it says, I don't know if you can read that fine, a primary care doctor. Uh, I did find a doctor. She's wonderful. I'll put a check mark here because I am going to continue to see her um, in the new year. This goal right here was drink more water. Uh, I have been drinking more water, not as much as I probably should be, but definitely drinking more water than I ever have in my whole life. I'm still working on getting better at drinking water, but I am going to put a check mark because I do feel like I accomplished that. Sorry, this angle is like a little weird. It's kind of hard to like fit the whole board in the um, in the frame here. Um, so this one right here, this goal was read five books, at least five books. And I did read five books, but what I was referring to with this goal is I have a, a box of books that I've bought, but I just have never read. And I wanted to start reading some of those little by little but I didn't get to it because um, my friend and I, we were reading all of like, the Colleen Hoover novels last year, and I was so distracted by those that I didn't get to my own personal books and my own collection. We're gonna continue to work on this. Uh, this one says, learn something new. And what I meant by that was I wanted to learn like a skill or like a hobby, uh, something that was uh, kind of more fun to do, because I, I really, don't have a whole lot of hobbies outside of like YouTube. So I will put a check mark by it because at the beginning of the year, I was doing pretty good with uh, learning yoga. Yoga was something I wanted to, I uh, had an interest in it and I wanted to learn and be more comfortable with it. I've only taken like maybe three classes and I did a few YouTube videos for a while. Like I was like following YouTube videos and trying to do that on a weekly basis, but it did get 
kind of difficult the further along I got into my pregnancy, so I didn't stick with it, unfortunately. Um, but I'll put, I'll put a little check mark by it because I do feel a lot more comfortable with yoga than I did at the beginning of, the, of last year. This one here says uh, more quality time with the pups. Uh, I, I made this goal last year because in 2021 Gizmo was really sick and I struggled a lot um, being home just because I've never been a homebody. I always like to be out doing things and I wanted to make more of an effort in 2022 to spend my time with him uh, before he passed away. He did pass away in March and I do feel like we spent quite a bit of time with him uh, before he passed away. And I know definitely for sure now with Michonne, we spent a lot of time with her here at the house. So I'll go ahead and mark that one off that uh, we do spend a lot of quality time with the dogs now. This one here is buy less makeup. Uh, I actually did do pretty good with this one this year. So I'm gonna give it a check mark because um, I haven't been buying as much makeup from Dollar Tree that like in 2021 I used to buy so much makeup. I bought so much makeup in 2021 I'm still using it now in 2023 trying to get through it. So um, I need to continue that for next year. I need to stop buying makeup and continue to use what I already have. This one here, if you can read it, it says better morning routine. Um, I'm gonna put an X by it because I still have not gotten into a good habit in the morning of like having a routine. Uh, I, I made that goal because I was always late to work. I was always feeling so like, just like my whole day felt chaotic from beginning to end. I just kind of woke up at the last minute, threw on some clothes, I never felt like put together and I still struggle with that. So that's something I still, still need to work on, especially now with the baby coming. Um, and then the last one here at the bottom, before we get into this envelope, says keep a journal. That's something I really wanted to work on uh, last year, and I, I'll put a check mark by it. Um, even though I'm not doing as well with journaling as I had hoped, I, I don't, I've, I've written in my journal a few times, like for some big, you know, life events that had happened over 20, you know, over the year of 2022 but I haven't like stayed consistently on top of it. So I do need to like stick with it, but I am doing better than I have done in the past. So I just need to kind of work harder on this goal. This goal right here that I put inside this envelope, um, I didn't wanna share this, what was inside of this envelope right away when I made this vision board last year. I'm gonna open it. Let me take it off here that to the side and I wanted a little one. <laughs> I, I didn't really know how to share that information because I didn't know if we were gonna have trouble conceiving. Um, for those of you who've seen my video talking about like when we found out we were pregnant, um, I haven't had an IUD in like two years prior to me getting pregnant. So I didn't know if we weren't actively trying, but I didn't know if I was gonna have tr like trouble getting pregnant. So I didn't want to share this with anyone um, because if it didn't happen, I didn't, I don't know, I just felt like it'd be awkward. It's really special to me that this was like the first time in my whole life that I ever like openly admitted even to myself that this was something that I wanted. I never really, knew how I felt, if I wanted kids or not. And when I made my vision board, I decided that this was something I wanted to include on there because this was the first time I actually took steps to uh, making something happen. Like that's why I wanted to get more active and drink more water and take vitamins. So I'm really excited, I'm really nervous for this new chapter in my life because it's gonna be so different, but it's just so special to me that this one actually came to be. And I decided to make a vision board for next year. And I just put it on the back of my uh, my other board. And this is all, all of our goals for 2023. Um, I kind of made this more of like goals for like the whole family instead of just personal goals for myself. We call him Bean. So um, find a doctor for Bean is the first goal on the list. 
and we already found one. She's wonderful. I just met with her yesterday. We did a meet and greet and I'm super excited that I found such a good provider right off the bat for him. Also have some uh, goals for Michonne. We wanna take her on more frequent walks. And then I wrote declutter here because we're gonna have a lot more stuff coming into the house now with the baby. So I need to declutter a lot of the things that we don't need. Um, Zach wanted to put this one on here, which I thought was really cute. This is spend more time together, especially now that we'll have the little one with us. It include this one right here about writing in my journal more often. Um, this one right here is a personal goal for myself. Um, I wanna respond better to text messages and phone calls. That's something I really, really struggle with in my personal life with my friends and family. Um, and even here on YouTube with like comments, it's not that I like, I don't, I love getting messages. I love when I get a comment, um, but I, I don't know why. I just, I have anxiety when it comes to socializing. And when I get a phone call or a text message, it, it just kind of makes me panic. And that's something I want to work on. Um, I put a little goal down here. It says, keep up with the laundry. I know it's only gonna get crazier once the baby's here. Um, this one says making sure Bean hits all his milestones. That's something I'm really nervous about is just making sure that he's crawling, walking, eating, all the things he needs to do. I I'm just really, really wanna make sure that he's reaching those goals. Oh, I'm gonna try, let me switch sides over here. Um, so for this one up top, um, this one's for Michonne. It says, keep on top of baths for Michonne's allergies. Um, Michonne gets really bad out skin allergies, so she does have to have more frequent baths to get the dust off of her skin. I'm gonna try my best this year to make sure we're giving her a lot more uh, of her baths because that way it'll keep her skin less itchy and irritated. Um, this one right here is huge. Uh, build our savings. I really want to work on that in the new year um, just because with Gizmo being sick last year it kind of uh, did some damage to our savings account and I do want to work on building it back up. Um, this one right here is for me and Zach. It says new jobs for both of us. Um, Zach already found a job um, since I made this board so he's already um, got that part down. I just went on maternity leave. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do. We have to figure out um, a good schedule for the baby and then I can figure out what hours I'm able to work. Um, this is a big goal too, um, to, set up the living, to set up the living room slash dining room upstairs, which is, when I made this, we were in the basement. <laughs> so I think that's why I wrote upstairs. But this room that I'm in right now, this is our dining room. Our, our basement is essentially our living room. So we wanna make a living room slash dining room in this room. So that way the baby has like a space upstairs to, on like the main floor to watch TV as he gets older or just play, like have room to play. So I wanna create a space here on the main floor where he can spend time and I can keep an eye on him if I'm in the kitchen or you know whatever. So this is a really big goal to get done fairly soon, hopefully. Um, I did I did want to continue this goal here to get more active, especially once the baby's here. I want to go into like exercising more and then buy less unnecessary things. So that not only includes makeup, I want it, I want it to include like home decor like holiday decorations, Dollar Tree, just, uh, it, there's something, I'm addicted to it. There's something about it. When I go in and I see the holiday stuff or the deck home decor, all those decorations, they just get me. I wanna try to remember to be more thankful for good health. That's something um, ever since last year when we had that scare with Zach's, uh, when we thought Zach had cancer, um, it kind of just really put things into perspective for us. So we wanna remember to be thankful for our health and just try to always remember like what's really important. Um, I wanna continue taking my vitamins even after the baby's here because my nails have been growing really long. I'm gonna have to trim them once the baby's here and I'm sad about it. Um, but I do wanna continue taking the vitamins because I have noticed a difference in my hair and my nails and I really like the way, like the results of taking my vitamins every day. This one right here, says build beans savings account. Uh, we do have a separate savings account for the baby and I wanna continue to 
to build on that as well as our savings account. So like the two separate accounts, I wanna work on building both of those. And then the last one right here is uh, get on a good routine for Bean. So I wanna make sure um, we have a good routine set up for him so that way it doesn't feel so overwhelming. And yeah, those are all of my goals for next, for this year, for 2023. I'm just really excited for all these new changes that are gonna be happening. And I don't know how often I'm gonna post, especially once the baby's here. And I don't know how much I want to show him on camera just because like with my other social media, like it's private. So like, I know, like I don't add people that I don't know, but like with YouTube, it's a little bit more public. So I'm not sure, like I will show you guys the baby, but I just don't know how much I'm going to show of the baby once he's here. We'll have to see. Um, but I'm going to try to film videos when I can, uh, but um, I'm really grateful that you watched this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed till the end, please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.